how's it going YouTube welcome back to another video with the house money investment channel in today's video we're gonna go over some stock picks as well as uh, some price movements some gains I had today in the market and then uh, 19 stocks I just bought I uh, spent a little over $2,600 and uh, just purchased about 19 different shares or fractional shares if you like this type of content hit the like button for me please I'd really appreciate it subscribe hit that bell if you want to follow my journey I do post several times seven days a week I also analyze stocks seven days a week as well so I'm constantly giving out uh, stock picks uh, there's a link in the description below you can get $30 with M1 you can get a free share with Robinhood and Moomoo you can get up to free uh, four free shares with uh, Weeble so check out those links those shares could be valued up to $1,400 a piece you could potentially get a share of Google you can liquidate those shares right away if you like or you can just hold them forever uh, which are you know playing with the house's money and that's kind of what I do on this channel uh, I started a challenge back in June called uh, I call it house money and basically what I do is deploy capital into the market uh, wait a set number of days this go around I've it's been 31 days so probably about 60 or 90 days or so then I'll pull my capital out and then I'll leave my only my gains in the market without spending uh, any of my principal technically uh, which is why I call it house money at that point they're just free shares and risk-free investments for the long term uh, I started the challenge back in June like I said and I've accumulated over twelve and a half thousand dollars worth of free stock I do display 12 different brokerages on this channel and uh, with the hundred percent transparency I show all my buys, my sales, my gains, and my losses, uh, and everything like that. To start off the video, uh, I just wanted to mention that Fiverr, ticker FRVV, hit its 52 week high, and uh, Mardana was up 5% today. And so was Fizz, ticker FIZZ, great beverage company. Uh, I'm not going to go too in depth with these stock picks, uh, but the first one we got here is Tattoo Shelf. Ticker TTCF. This is something I hold long term. Something I'm, I'm swing trading uh, multiple times this month to try to build my position. Uh, Tattoo Chef is a food company that deals with um, plant based products similar to like Beyond Meat or Very Good Foods. Uh, Tattoo Chef has been making products for a while. Uh, they've been kind of leasing their products out to other vendors. Like maybe your Target, your Kroger's and such, Walmart. And letting those companies put their own uh, stickers on them. You know, like great value and things like that. Uh, since they went public, they are going to release their own products under their own name. So a very good play. Uh, Plant-based foods is a big sector and it's on the rise. So I definitely see good things with this company as I do with uh, Beyond Meat. Uh, I like very good foods, but I do not own any. Uh, it's an OTC stock, and I really don't invest in OTC stocks. Uh, next, we have Riot, ticker ROT. This is a blockchain play. Kind of gives you exposure to that blockchain, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency world uh, without all the risk of buying like Bitcoin directly. Next, I got a stock uh, a price target on Ethereum. Ethereum. My personal opinion, I believe Ethereum will hit $5,000 within the next three months. Uh, just looking at, you know, what's left in circulation, which is only 10 and a half million coins. And then um, in the past 24 hours, you know, it's dropped by 10%. So at that rate, within the next seven days, it'll all be gone. Uh, very bullish on Ethereum and what they got going on. Uh, it's a wide variety of things. I don't want to really get into it. It's a lot of uh, content to cover that. But I do from time to time post uh, crypto videos. You know, I deal with Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin Cash, BSV, uh, Dogecoin, uh, Ripple, X, uh, XRP, Stellar, and several others, just to name a few. Then I just posted a tweet from Mark Cuban, uh, just basically having a bullish sentiment on uh, crypto in general. 
uh, just basically saying it's a supply and demand type of deal which furthers my analysis of the Ethereum going up because of the fact that it's you know the windling down next we got green dot ticker G D O T this is a fintech stock and uh, it deals with the you know financials you can buy the little green dot uh, debit cards the visa cards at Walmart things of that such I like green dot along with like PayPal and square uh, green dot is a new trade for me I actually just bought some today and I'm going to uh, swing trade it and try to build a position in green dot as fintech stocks are uh, very popular and uh, you know very lucrative uh, next here we got JMSP ST it's something I already own it's a JP Morgan ultra short municipal income ETF it just has a one to three year maturity uh, on the securities it's not a short as in like a bearish sentiment um, but you know somewhere safe to keep your money it's not gonna fluctuate it's not gonna have a high uh, volatility rate uh, credit you won't make very good gains you know you're not gonna make massive gains like a growth stock but you are gonna collect uh, dividends which are great so this is a way uh, for me to store a little bit of my capital into a safe place similar to like a savings account except you know with something that draws interest then we got arc uh, F this is arc invest uh, fintech ETF I own all the arc uh, ETFs uh, for the long term so I just bought some more arc F uh, this is probably my second or third time buying it this month you know just swing trading and trying to build my position that I have because I believe in Kathy Wood and what they got going on over there and I'm doing very well in all my positions in arc so why not buy more right then we got ticker CIBR, also something I already hold and been swing tra trading. This is First Trust NASDAQ Cybersecurity ETF. Cybersecurity is something that, um, you know, is growing as an industry. Technology is growing, and it's something that we have to have, you know, similar to the Army and the Marines and tanks and missiles and all that other type of stuff, you know. With technology being the way it is, countries you can just basically just, you know, do a cyber attack and cause a lot of damage that way. Uh, you know, it's not like the old days where, you know, everybody lines up in front of each other and just goes at it. Uh, cyber security is uh, definitely a big, big issue. So this is just give you exposure to that that sector uh, with a lot of diversification, being that it's in an ETF. So you'll get a bundle of the uh, best cybersecurity companies out of the NASDAQ uh, provided to you by First Trust. Now we're going to get into the buys I made. As you can see, I bought one share of ARK F. This is in the uh, Fidelity account. No, I'm sorry. This is in the Ameritrade account. I purchased uh, one share at a strike price of $52.29. Then I bought a Vanguard fund, ticker VWO. Uh, I bought one share. It doesn't display the price here, but I'm pretty sure it was around $53 and some change, uh, somewhere around that uh, strike price. Then I went ahead and deposited $47 into the Ameritrade account. I deposited $227 into my Acorns account. As you can see, I have a pending uh, deposit total balance of $647. Uh, this is my Stash App account. This is my best uh, holding at the moment, which is Baidu Inc. Uh, this is a $45 investment. It is up, you know, $43.16. So now my $45 is worth $88.19. It is up a nice 95.91%. This is a tech company out of China. Uh, I paid an average share price of $127.10. So this is doing very well for itself. Then in the Stash App account, I went ahead and purchased some Tattoo Chef. Uh, I purchased $41 worth of Tattoo Chef. I believe those shares are around $28, bucks, so it's like a, a little over a share, almost two shares. Then I purchased $42 of Lanier Superfoods, ticker LSF. 
Purchase $43 of CTO Realty Growth Inc. Ticker CTO. Purchase $44 worth of ticker NUAN, the communication company. Then I purchased $45 worth of Exxon Mobil, ticker XOM. Then I purchased $46 worth of Grow Generation Corp, ticker GRWG. Purchased $47 worth of Big Lot Inc, ticker BIG. I just want to mention real quick, a lot of people sleep on Big Lots. I got a long-term hold in my Cash App account in uh, Big Lots, and it's doing very well. It's one of my top uh, producing uh, stocks, believe it or not. Then we put $48 to ticker EYE, National Visiting, Vis National Visiting Holding Inc. I'm bullish on the visit vision sector or eye care sector of the market. Uh, due to the pandemic and people being on quarantine, I was looking at a study that shows that... Uh, Especially in younger kids and younger adults, people not being outside and being exposure to sun and getting that vitamin D or C or whatever it is, their uh, eyesight's actually getting worse. So I see, um, you know, a niche little revenue spurt in that market of people needing to, uh, you know, upgrade their lenses or get lenses or contacts or whatever, LASIK surgery and st stuff of, uh, of that nature. So I invested in EYE to kind of expose myself to that market. Then we got a Nino X Imaging L uh, inner, ticker NNOX. Purchased forty nine dollars worth in the Stash App account. Then when I went ahead and deposited uh, two hundred thirty six dollars into Stash. This is my Cash App account. As you can see, it's valued at $2,536.23. It is up $684.34. I got a realized and unrealized gain combined of 15.03%. So I was doing uh, pretty decently. Uh, then in the Cash App, that's where I purchased the Green Dot. Purchased $51 worth of Green Dot. Purchased $52 worth of Kellogg's. Uh, this is Consumers Package Good Company. I'm pretty sure everybody knows about Kellogg's. A very great dividend payer and a very uh, great company. Great fundamentals. Uh, great customer loyalty. Uh, great brand recognition. Uh, definitely a nice play uh, buying some more Kellogg's to build my position that I already hold long term. Then I added $9 to the Cash App. Bought uh, four, $53 worth of ticker SCHW which is a Charles Schwab fund. Then I deposited $236 more dollars into Cash App. Deposited $236 into uh, Ameritrade. Then in my public account, I purchased $56 worth of Clean Spark. Purchased $57 worth of JP Morgan US Momentum Factor ETF. Purchased $58 worth of ticker FTS. Fortress or Fortis. Purchased $59 worth of Power Shares S&P 500 quality portfolio. Then I went ahead and deposited $236 into the public account. Then I went ahead and deposited $524 into my Robinhood. And the last purchase I made was in Robinhood of that uh, cybersecurity ETF. <coughs> Ticker CIBR at a strike price of $45.18. So I got a little bit over one share. That'll be it for today's video. If you like the content, hit the like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. I'm at 32 subscribers, so if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, hitting that bell, and following my journey. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021. Uh, and then I will start doing giveaways. You know every so often maybe every week or maybe every milestone maybe once a month uh, but it would be strictly uh, cash giveaways uh, when I do get to that point in my channel as I would you know like to pay back the subscribers who tune in and help me get the revenue if I can get to that point and the rest of the revenue that I keep will strictly be for uh, stocks only you know so once again, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one.